I can't believe that this is the last of the three units that we have for adults for the summer. Remember, each of them were two weeks apart, and the first one we did the Genius of Birds, and we did that Centangle Seagull, and the second one we did for bees and butterflies, and we did the Lavender uh, Painting. And last of all, you've got a napkin in your section. We're going to make a couple of a napkin folded pets. I'm going to show you two. There are tons and tons of these on the internet, particularly on YouTube. And when you look at YouTube, they've got great videos, much better than the one that I'm producing for you right now. So I hope you enjoy the last of this adult project. And this, the first one we're going to do is a bunny rabbit. So in your kit, you have a, I think it's an 18 by 18 napkin. And the first thing you're going to do is open it all the way up and then you're going to fold it in half. Uh, now, I think if I were going to make these to use for a dinner, I would probably have the iron next to me and I would press it as I would go along. I think you'd get much sharper creases. I think it would just look a lot better. But you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold it in half again. And you're going to fold down to the opening of your um, napkin. In other words, this will be the fold side, and this is the side that's got the opening at the bottom. Then once you get to this, it's so neat because your napkin already shows you at the middle. You're going to take this side and fold it down across that middle line there. So you've got something that looks kind of like this. And then you're going to take and fold the other section down. And I notice that these don't quite meet, so I'm going to kind of play with a little bit, folding one and the other till I get two that meet. So I've kind of got a point here. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring these two bottom folds up so there's something like this. So you have kind of have a square in a square. You're bringing up for the bottom, and these are where all of your openings are on your napkin. And then the next thing you're going to do is take those and you're going to come over and make a point with both sides. So now you've got something that looks something like this. Once again, if you had an iron, I think you'd get a much crisper fold. Then here's the tricky part, and I have played with this and played with this, and I, I wish I could tell you the exact trick that works but you're going to take one edge and you're going to put it underneath the other edge here and you're going to kind of tuck it in so i'm going to take this side and i'm going to tuck it over inside this section and you're going to i've got to turn it just a little bit and i'm going to tuck it in as far as i can get it tucked okay so then once you get that part tucked you're going to take this end right here and you're going to pull it back you're going to set it up like this, and here you have your little bunny's nose, and here you have the ears. And to make him open up, you'll put your hand under here and make a little thing like this, and he opens up, and you have that little bunny rabbit. And there is your bunny fold for your napkins. And once again, if there were a crisper napkin, you would get... You could fold these a little bit more, but that's your bunny fold. That is your bunny napkin, all folded up. Now, there was one really cute one that I saw that had a body, and it took two napkins, and it had a bunny tail on it, but this one's just the bunny. Okay, the next one we're going to do is a fish, because I thought a fish could be a pet, too, because, of course, this particular um, unit is a pet, you bet, um, all about pets. So you, once again, you're going to take your napkin and you're going to open it up. This time you're going to turn it this way and you're going to fold the top, the bottom to the top point and you're going to make a big triangle. So you've got a big triangle right here. Okay. And then you're going to fold up from the bottom. No, I'm going to fold up about two inches and you're going to fold it all the way across just like that. Okay, now you could put a paper uh, clothespin right there if you wanted to, kind of hold that in the middle. But then you're going to take this in and you're going to bring it up to your point. So you made a triangle on this side. 
And then you're gonna take the other side, and I'm gonna to have to bring this down a little bit, and work with it until you get those two points to meet. You might have to bring one in down and one in up. And so now you've got that much. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna now make the tail fins for the fish. So you're gonna take the bottom part and you're going to turn it in this direction like this so it comes over. You're gonna take this one and pull it over like this. Once again, I think an iron would be really, really super duper helpful. And then if you flip it over, you now have your fish with this tail fins. And of course, if you were doing this for a luncheon or something, and particularly or if you were gonna do it for children, you might take a um, an M&M or jelly bean and put an eye there, maybe a nose there, but there's your fish. Like I said, there are tons of these on the internet. They did, there's a really cute one that had an elephant that you used a single napkin and some rubber bands and made an elephant's trunk. Super duper cute. But I hope you enjoy these units as much as we did making them. Um, the kits have been very popular and uh, we've gotten rid of all of our kits every time. Uh, this, of course, is our last one and we'll have um, a special drawing this week for the Creepy Crawlies. And then there'll be a special drawing in two weeks that goes along with a pet, you bet, for uh, all of our families. So thank you for tuning in. I've enjoyed doing this, and who knows what we'll do in the fall. Thanks.